Hello, my name's Steve. I'm an astronomer at Glasgow Science Centre and welcome to Stargazing in Scotland, introducing you to the night sky from a Scottish perspective. Scotland has some incredible skies and you can find many amazing things in them, even using a simple pair of binoculars. In this video, I'll introduce you to a few of my favourite objects to look at. Let's begin with something that isn't just easy to find, it's almost impossible to miss. It's familiar, it's one of our favourites, it's the moon. Even with your eyes, you should see some details on the surface of the moon that are brighter and darker patches. Now, some people claim to be able to see a man in the moon. I've never been that sure myself, but I can spot an upside down rabbit. Have a look for yourselves next time. See if you can find the rabbit in the moon. Have a look next time the moon is up. If you've got a pair of binoculars, they should show you a little bit more detail. You will be able to see the brighter and darker patches more clearly. You may even be able to pick out some of the brighter craters. These are holes that have been punched in the moon by bombarding space rocks. Now the darker patches in the moon are a little bit smoother than the surrounding bits. We used to call these areas seas or mare, but that was long before we knew that the moon didn't have any liquid water on the surface. In fact, these dark smooth patches are huge dried up lava beds. What about the planets? Well, the planets are actually quite tricky to observe through binoculars. No matter how good your binoculars are, it's hard to see much detail, except one planet which really rewards observing through binoculars, and that is the gas giant planet Jupiter. Jupiter has dozens of moons, and the four largest are visible even through a small pair of binoculars. Most people have only ever seen one moon, the Earth's moon, but with binoculars, you can see four more. Those are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Now their positions will change, so every time you observe Jupiter, you'll see different configurations of their moons. Sometimes two on one side, two on the other. Sometimes three and one, one on the other. Sometimes you won't see all four. Perhaps one of them is behind or in front of the planet Jupiter. But that makes Jupiter a great target for binoculars. Every time you look at it, you see a different configuration of its moons. Looking deeper out into space, we find the Orion Nebula, which sits in the constellation of Orion the Hunter, best seen in the late autumn, winter, and early spring in Scotland. The Orion Nebula sits in Orion's sword hanging from his belt. And in fact, it's a giant cloud of dust and gas collapsing under its own gravity, forming new stars. To our eyes, it appears as a little out of focus star. With binoculars, you may see even more detail. In fact, the only reason we can see it at all is because it's being lit up from the inside by stars that have just been born. Brand new baby stars that are less than a million years old. One of my favourite objects for observing through binoculars is a group of stars called the Pleiades, or the Seven Sisters, in the constellation of Taurus the Bull. To find the Pleiades, start at Orion's belt and go up and to the right. You'll pass through the V-shape of the head of Taurus before finding a beautiful little star cluster. Now with the naked eye, it appears that there are seven stars here, but with binoculars, you'll see that there are many more. In fact, astronomers estimate that there are a thousand stars or more inside this little cluster. And it is the only thing in the sky that looks far better through binoculars than through a telescope. Telescopes just magnify it too much. Binoculars give you the perfect view. Let's head out even further into space to observe the furthest thing visible to the naked eye, the Andromeda Galaxy. It appears as a faint smudge in the autumn skies above Scotland, makes it quite hard to find. You can use the stars of the constellation Cassiopeia as a signpost to find it. Once you've found the Andromeda Galaxy, turn your binoculars on it and you might be able to see a little bit more detail. Whereas with your eyes, it might just appear as a faint smudge, binoculars might show you a bright central bulge. Because what you're seeing here is a galaxy of a trillion stars. It's so far away though, that the light appears incredibly faint. It's so distant that it's taken light from those stars two and a half million years to get to your eyes. So when you observe the Andromeda galaxy, you're looking at starlight that's older than the human race. It's been traveling through space for two and a half million years. But there are so many more amazing sights to see in the Scottish skies. Download our Stargazing in Scotland pack for activities you can do at home and watch our other Stargazing in Scotland videos to see what else is up there. Until then, keep your eyes on the skies.